Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the next step in enabling co-management. We've already laid the groundwork, we've configured co-management in SCCM. So if you missed that video, check out the link at the top of the screen. All we need to do now is take a look at our client and see what its co-management capabilities are at the moment. Okay, so in the Config Manager applet, we should see that the co-management capabilities are one and co-management is disabled. So we're going to need to fix that. We're going to need to put this computer into the right collection to enable co-management for this computer. Over into our console, we'll go over to the Config Manager console and just check out what we've set for the, uh, the co-management collection, pilot collection that we're using. So we'll just go to uh, Enablement and check which collection we're using. So at the moment it's set to co-managed devices. So let's head over to Assets and Compliance and check what computers are in that collection. Okay, there's no computers in that collection at the moment, so let's grab our computers and put them in that collection. So this is the one that I'm going to be using, Lucy's computer here. I'm going to right click and add to device collection. From here, we'll choose co-managed devices and make sure that goes into the collection correctly. Give that a few seconds. Great, so that's in there now. Got addition, uh, one additional computer in there, just the one. And now we'll head over to our client to see how that has an effect on the computer. So in the Config Manager applet, we'll just choose Action and then Machine Policy Retrieval to make sure that policy comes down to the computer. And what we're hoping to see here is that co-management will be uh, set to enabled. But the co-management capabilities will stay to one because we haven't switched any workloads. Okay, great. So that co-management setting is now set to enabled. But as I said, capabilities are still one because we haven't enabled any capabilities just yet. Right, let's head over into the console again and make that change. So back into uh, our co-management properties here, we'll go into workloads and we'll set pilot intune for compliance and pilot intune for Windows update policies. Before you press apply, you must go into staging and change this setting to actually specify the, co the collection you want to use for this. So as you can see, it says to continue, please select a pilot collection. So, uh, Let's choose this and then head over to our co-managed devices section collection. Add that in and add that in there. All good. Okay, now before we press apply, I'm going to point out this section here. So it says make sure your pilot devices are already enrolled into Intune. Now we haven't got that device enrolled into Intune yet because it's just been switched to pilot, so it's just had its uh, automatic enrollment enabled for this device. So we're going to just check to see how that's going and see if it's managed to enroll itself just yet. And we'll do that by heading into settings, Windows settings, and then down into accounts, access work or school. And okay, so this this is showing me that it's enrolled into Intune. This info button here means that the MDM has been uh, configured for Intune and here it says manage.microsoft.com so that's that's Intune there so all good I mean it hasn't uh, it hasn't finished um, that enrollment because there's been a problem with credentials I think I'm logged in as lab admin yes I am here so I'm logged in as lab admin rather than Lucy and Lucy has an Intune license whereas lab admin doesn't so I'm going to just log out of this device and log in as the Lucy tester and see how that goes Okay, great. Logged in as Lucy, so head over to PowerShell and just check that that is definitely Lucy I've logged into. Just prove it to you, I mean. And then over into settings. And 
and access work or school in the account section will show us how we're doing on the MDM enrollment. It is, um, I've never seen it laid out like that before. I mean, I've this looks like it's Azure AD joined and domain joined, which normally is, is hybrid. Um, but I've never seen it laid out like that before. Let's just quickly check that everything is all right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Azure AD and domain joined and sort of seems fine. Um, good, if anyone in the comments wants to, to mention whether they've seen this before, that's, that's quite interesting to me. Uh, anyway, you can see it's MDM enrolled, so we will click info and it's so all looks fine to me and the synchronization works and stuff, so that's good. We haven't pushed any policy to it yet, so I'm not expecting much from here. But just check that in this section here. Let me reload this because that was open on the session. Go into the config manager after that again. And so co-management enable capabilities one. Okay, so now I'm happy that this device has enrolled into Intune. I'm gonna just go into the config manager console and configure these pilot collections to be set for co-management of compliance and Windows update policies. Choose okay. And now with that enabled, what we want to do is head over to our client again. I'm just gonna open up CM Trace. And I want to take a look at the config manager co-management handler. So that will be uh, in here, co-management handler there. Just open that up and take a look at what we're doing. So the time on this clock is 4.21 and at 4.14 uh, it changed MDM enrollment to 1, which is good. So yeah, that's fine. So let's kick this into gear and do a machine policy retrieval. So it pulls down that latest policy from the config manager server around co-management. And so yeah, 421 is when this has started. So it's got additional policies around this. So take a look at what it's saying. Co-management capabilities is still one. And we're expecting that to change to um, To I think 19 or something is what we're looking for. There you go. Yeah, 19. So it's um, it's now realised that it's got some additional capabilities here. So yeah, 19 is what we've got, and that means it's Windows Update and compliance. I'll I'll put a link in the description of what the different capabilities mean. Okay, devices provisioned for co-management. MDN sync has been triggered. So let's take a look at the applet again. Reload this to get the latest information in that tab. Okay, so co-management capabilities 19 and co-management is enabled. All good. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Just head over into configurations and see our new configurations that have been applied. So Pilot Auto Enroll is set to compliant. Uh, they're all set to compliant. So Pilot Compliant Policies, Pliant Windows Update Policies, and Co-Management Settings Prod, all set to compliant. Uh, last evalu evaluated a few minutes ago. So I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good, okay, great. Okay, so one of the workloads we moved to Pilot Intune was compliance. So let's take a look at how that has affected our computer in the Intune console. In my endpoint.microsoft.com portal, we're going to go to devices and then find that device that we were referring to. It ended in uh, 46V, and as you can see, this has not been reloaded since we made, made that change. Still says C config manager for compliance. I'm hoping when I click refresh, it will update. It didn't. So let's check, uh, check again. Still says key C config manager for compliance. Okay, so it still says C config manager. I'm just going to check the the last check in time for this device on Intune. Uh, okay, hasn't quite checked in yet. 
So um, let's go ahead and make it do that. Go over to the client and then choose our uh, sync section here. Sync could not be initiated. Okay, I'm gonna give this machine a quick reboot. Okay, so we've rebooted. I'm just gonna head over to uh, the settings section again, access work or school, and then just see if we can synchronize these settings. Okay, so sync still can't be initiated here. I'm just gonna go over and head, and head into the Azure portal and check everything is okay with the device and the user that we've got. So head over into, uh, I'll check the user first. So it's Lucy. So that looks all right. Licenses looking for in tune. Oh, well, okay, there's no license. So let's add in, um, let's add in uh, in tune, which is here. Great. Save that. License assignment failed. Okay, good. So let's just check that we've got everything set up with this user. We haven't got a user's location set, so I'll need to do that. Can imagine if this was a, a a real environment, a production environment, you probably have the usage location set automatically when you've done that configuration. So this is my lab being an issue here, I think. So just tick that and save. Okay, we've got that license now. Give that a few more minutes and then we'll retry the synchronization. Okay, so after a reboot, you can see I've, I've signed in and it says sync is successful. So uh, let's take a look at the console. Uh, devices, all devices, and just check. So it's this, okay, we've got two, we've got two. So one is the config manager device and one is co-managed with a, a last check-in time of um, local time a few minutes, uh, 10 minutes ago. So if I just check out the config manager one and just, okay, so it's not found. So I'm gonna delete it. I don't think I need it. Uh, so I'll delete that device and then we've got the the real one here which is co-managed and take a look at that. It should be full of Intune related stuff. There you go. So we've got a lot of um we've got a lot of additional capabilities via the Intune enrollment there and it's co-managed and stuff. So let's take a look at the check-in time is, is recently. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, so the reason we were looking in the Intune portal in the first place was to check out the compliance state because that should be pilot managed by our Intune. So at the moment it still says see config manager. We've had it in this state for maybe 15 minutes now max. Uh, and if we look in the co-management section, you can see that the uh, the config manager agent state is healthy and the last check-in time for config manager was about uh, 20 minutes ago according to the to local time. And the Intune manage workload section is completely blank. So we're going to need to wait a little while longer, do a few more check-ins, maybe a reboot to, to see how this is going to go on the on the console side. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I've given the machine a reboot and logged back in, waited a few more minutes for the synchronizations to take place. So we'll head into all devices on our endpoint manager console. I've still got this, um, this old uh, device that I did delete, but it's still hanging around. But the, the new co-managed one is uh, is just there. Still a check-in time hasn't changed, but let's see what we see. See what we see in Endpoint Manager. So, okay, so compliance is now not evaluated, which is better than C Config Manager, because at least it's it's changed. And our managed workloads for Intune are compliance policy, great, and Windows Update for Business. So yeah, we've, we've made a change there, that, that makes sense. So compliance hasn't been evaluated yet. Let's take a quick look. And that is true. So the built-in device compliance policy hasn't been evaluated. We haven't created a specific device compliance policy within Intune yet. That's part of a later video, but for now, this one should evaluate. And at the moment it hasn't. So that's that's something to take a look at later on. So for now, let's take a quick look at this uh, this device portal here. So as you can see, we've got the standard Intune um, options at the top here, the standard capabilities you get from Intune. It looks a little bit different on the left-hand side here because you have this these additional preview capabilities from co-management. So we've got Resource Explorer, Client Details, Timeline, Collections, Applications, CM Pivot, Scripts, Device Diagnostics. 
These are all additional capabilities because co-management is now configured within Config Manager. We'll go into each of these in a later video because I want to keep these videos quite short to make them quite easy to digest. For now, that's that's pretty much all I want to go through. We've enabled co-management. We've configured co-management for a couple of workloads on a pilot basis within Intune. And we've taken a look at how that affects the client from a log perspective and then how that makes changes to the Intune portal when you look at the device itself. Hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, please click the like button, click subscribe, and perhaps leave a comment to let me know what you think. The next episode is going to cover Windows Update for Business and enabling that on Intune managed devices and co-managed devices. Look out for that video on Tuesday. I'll see you then.